Hi everyone, so today I thought I would do a, my kind of all time favourite makeup products from each sort of category today. Um, it's uh, it's basically all uh, high street drugstore makeup, a couple of little sort of more premium brands in there but um, let's get started. So I'm going to start with uh, primer, my favourite primer is the Nivea Express Hydration Primer for dry, normal to dry skin I think it is. Uh, this kind of looks like this. I've had this for like a year and I've still got that much left. Um, it's really, really, uh, it's kind of like a gel texture I'd say and uh, it's really good at moisturising so if my skin's having a bit of a dry day I'll just put that on before I put my makeup on and normally it helps. Um, it's around sort of five pounds for a big pot. You don't need much, so it's quite good value, as well. Uh, and to foundation, no surprises. It's the Rimmel Wake Me Up foundation. Uh, I love this foundation. It very rarely lets me down. Um, again, I've had this for ages, like a year since I started my YouTube channel, and I've like got half left. So that's good. I'm gonna shake it now. It's not shaking. Uh, <laughs> concealer, my favourite concealer is, as everyone in the world is, is a uh, collection, Lasting Perfection 16 hour concealer. Uh, it's good for under eyes and spots and it just works. Um, da da da, next I'll go for powder. My favourite powder is Soap and Glory's One Heck of a Block. I didn't really ever get on that well with Rimmel Stay Matte. I don't know whether it was just because my one that I had was old um, or I had a rubbish brush or whatever, I don't know. Also they kept cracking so I gave up on it but yeah. It comes with a big mirror and it's more kind of sturdy feeling. I feel like this is safe in my bag like it's not just going to disintegrate and break and fall apart and make a mess. Um, next, blushes. It's the Natural Collection blushes. I love them so much. Um, I think this is purely because I've got sensible colours in these and um, I would like sleek blushes better but I've all I've got is pomegranate. I've not been using that recently because it's more of a winter colour. So yeah, this is this is um, Peach Melba and this is Dusty Pink. And they're my sort of favourite blushes I would say. And for contour and highlight, I've got the, well, for contouring, bronzing, highlighting, the Sleek Contour Kit is my favourite. Um, I love it. I've had it for ages and look, there's not even a dent in the bronzer. Like, you don't need it. This is going to last me forever. Um, and I love the highlight as well. It's such a lovely colour. Um, yeah. Da -da -da. Um, okay, so that's face products then. On to eyes now. Uh, for eye primer, my favourite is the Benefit Stay Don't Stray. Um, yeah, you hardly need any of it. I just wash my hair out my face. And yeah, I really like this. This little thing. Um, then for cream eyeshadows, it's the Maybelline colour tattoos. This one's an American one, that's why it looks slightly different. It's in Barely Branded. Like that. That's like a champagne colour. And I've got metallic pomegranate. Which I think it's like punk pomegranate or something like that in America. It's just this nice purple colour. You can see I've used quite a lot of it. <laughs> uh, for eyeshadows, like powder eyeshadows, again Maybelline, it is one of the Silk Glam Eye Studio quads. This one's in Coral Drama. I just think that they're such nice eyeshadows and the colours are really and you get such a you get a whole eye look and it's this little thing and they're really nice quote like quality eyeshadows and they feel really nice and nice and pigmented and my fingernails are too long to be doing this right now. As you can see, I have I've had it for ages. I've had this for three, four years maybe, and it's still going strong. <laughs> um, I love this kind of pinky colour here. It's my favourite. 
and I've now got eyeshadow all over me. Um, uh, for eyeliner, Collection Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner. I love this so much. Um, this is my second one, and it just makes eyeliner easy and quick. And when you make a mistake, you can just it doesn't it's not like gel liner where when you make a mistake with gel liner that you have to take off all the eye makeup. It's just with a cotton bud and you can just fix it and it's black and it's stays on all for ages and it doesn't transfer and yes love it uh, mascara wise I've got two because I couldn't decide all time favourite is uh, Maybelline the Falsies uh, Black Drama just love it but recently I've been wearing uh, the a la carte what's this called Divine Lash which I got in a you me love you love beauty uh, some box thing and first when I first tried it I was like mm, wasn't sure about it but it does not budge at all like I don't get any smudging under my eyes with it um and maybe not the best for a volume um I don't, I don't find it as gets my eyes quite as dramatic as I maybe want but yes it doesn't go anywhere the only problem with this is when I got it and you looked on the thing to see how much it was it's like £30. So I don't think I'll ever buy this for myself. I had a slight cutting out issue there, but yes, this a la carte Divine Lash Mascara, love it. Only problem is it's about £30, so I will probably never purchase it for, purchase it for myself. Um, but, you know, now I know what I will get if I ever want to have lovely mascara and I have money. That. Uh, last eye thing is eyebrows is the Maybelline, they're no, not Maybelline, MUA Lux Power Brow because look, oh I've used quite a lot of it but you get the twisty up pencil at this end and then a highlighter at the other end and uh, I just love it, it's been, I kind of, I don't know, I think it makes it life easier than uh, powder you don't need a brush or anything so if I was travelling I'd just take that. Uh, only problem is the lid's fallen off. It's not made any effect to the product or anything so I bet you just flew past the window it's quite distracting. Uh, okay now on to, oh let's get my hair out of the way. Oh dear. Yeah. On to lip products now. Um, I've got a lipstick, a lip gloss and a, a, a crayon thing. For lipsticks Again, Natural Collections lipsticks. Uh, this one is in Rosebud. And I've got one in Raspberry as well, but that one's in my handbag. Love that. Uh, it's just a really nice day-to-day -day colour. The formula is really like creamy and moisturising. And they don't wear off in a weird way. Like sometimes lipsticks, like cheaper lipsticks can, but for 1 99 who can complain? For glosses, I've got the... This is like the only lip gloss I've ever liked, ever. Uh, I've got the MUA Intense Kisses uh, High Intensity Gloss in Stolen Kisses. Um, and it's like a nice raspberry colour with a bit of sparkle in it. Um, and they're not sticky and they're really pigmented and they stay on nicely. So yes, they smell nice as well, kind of like cake. Anyway, <laughs> and for crayons I have the Bourjois Colour Boost and this one is in Plum Russian. I'm going to get some of the summery colours for summer. Um, but yeah, this is just a nice kind of subtle plum colour. It's that bottom one there and I like it, like it lots. Okay, so that is all my makeup favourites I think probably I think that's all the things that you put on your face um <laughs> for brushes I'd say Real Techniques brushes are my favourite brushes um yeah uh really liking the the Miracle Complexion sponge at the moment actually used that today um I think my skin looks quite good look how long my hair is I'm just you know gonna demonstrate with this plait 
This is far back I have to lean to show you all. <laughs> I measured how long my hair was the other day because I'm weird like that. And it is currently 28 inches long. So, yay my hair! I'm not looking forward to having to um, deal with it when camping. But I'll probably just put it in a bun for the whole week. <laughs> And that'll do. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that uh, is one of my make and be favourite things. And uh, as usual, if you have any requests or any comments or any suggestions or anything, just comment down below and go go look look at my Instagram or whatever. There's another bird. It's very distracting sitting next to windows. Anyway, yes. Uh, Go look, find my Instagram and Twitter and all that kind of jazz. And um, yeah, if, if you like the video and don't mind my rambling and my distractions and my weirdness, please subscribe. It'd make me happy. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stop playing with my hair now. Uh, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye!